Hey everyone, welcome to this Imaginer 3D tutorial. My name is Lawrence, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to do a simple car rig in Blender 2.81. If you'd like to use this same model, you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this pivot point, this little yellow dot here, to be in the mass of our mesh here. So we're going to select the mesh, press tab, a to select all of it, shift S, cursor to select it, tab again, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And that's just going to put that right in there. All right, we're going to press shift S again and return our cursor to our world origin. Okay. So since we're going to be adding a number of objects in here, I'm going to create a new folder just to keep things more organized. And I'm going to name this empty objects. Okay. All right, so we're going to press shift A, empty we're gonna add in a cube okay I'm just gonna scale this cube on the x-axis and move it up on the Z perfect all right and I'm gonna name this empty car uh, which it technically is no one in there all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to parent the car body itself to this empty so we're gonna select the car select the empty control P object all right, that way if we move it, it moves everything alongside with it. All right, and then we're gonna hide this and those little license plates I put there for some reason. Okay, all right. So we're gonna add an empty object or plane axes to each of these wheels so they that those axes can control them for us. Okay, and that's what we're gonna be adding all our settings to. So we're gonna select the wheel, shift S, cursor to select it, shift A, empty, plane axes, okay? By setting the cursor there, it's just going to put our empty axes right central to where our tire is. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these objects. Shift S, cursor selected, Shift A, plane axes. Okay, so we're going to select all of these axes. Okay, get into this rear mode here. Press S on the X axis. And we're gonna just bring it in just a little bit there. Okay, perfect. All right, now we are going to pair each of these tires to their corresponding empty objects. Select the tire, select the object, Control P, object. Do the same for the rest of these tires as well. And there we go. Now we're just gonna name these just so we don't get lost in the future. And name that wheel two, wheel three, and wheel four. Okay. All right. So we're going to bring our car empty and our car itself back into the picture here. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pair these um, parent these empty objects to this larger object up here. So we're going to select each of our empty objects. Okay. And then we're going to select our empty cube, press control P, object. Okay, that way they're all paired to it. Okay, so if we move this, the rest of our objects move along with it. Okay, all right. Now what we want to do, what our goal is, is that when we move this uh, empty object, this car forward on the Y axis, we want the wheels to turn in tandem with it by turning on the X axis here okay so the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a function what's known as a driver so we're going to select this um, empty for this wheel press n to go in our transform settings and on the x rotation we're going to right click add driver we're going to change this from scripted expression to average value we're going to select y location and local space all right and under object we're going to select empty car okay and just to show you what that did if i move this on the y-axis, the wheel now turns as the car is moving forward. The only issue is it's moving in the wrong direction. Okay, so first before we fix that, I'm going to do the exact same thing by adding a driver to each of these empty objects. Add driver. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Now that we have all our empty objects with the same expression, we're going to check if this works. And good. All right. They all move as the car moves. And to fix that issue with the direction is very easy. So we're going to select this empty object here, right click on the X rotation, open up the driver editor, select the driver we just made, all right, which is going to be this one right here. Okay, and then we're going to go to modifiers, add modifier, generator, okay, and since this is in the positive, we're going to change this to a negative so that it goes in the direction we want it to go. So we're going to change this to negative one, okay, and now when we move this, you'll notice it moves in the right direction. Only issue is it seems to be moving a little bit slow for my taste at least. So if you to fix that, you simply select it again, open the driver editor, and under modifiers, you're going to just change this number to a bit of a less a lesser value, okay? So we're going to change this to negative 1.25. I found that number works pretty well for me. So we move this again, and that seems to be moving at a better speed. Okay, so we're going to do this for the rest of these objects. Right click, open driver editor, select your driver, go to modifiers, add modifier, generator, change this to negative 1.25. Okay, and we'll do that for these two as well. It's kind of convenient that it's named a driver because we're using a car. I mean, of course, you're using this for a lot of other things, but I mean, this, this works as well. It's convenient. It's an easy way to remember if you're getting used to rigging cars in general. All right. Okay. So to test that that worked out, G and Y, perfect. All right. So that's basically it. In order to move your car forward and backward, it's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at Imaginerd3D, where I post tips and tricks and eventually giveaways. I also have free uh, downloadable models on the same link that you got this car from. So enjoy and stay tuned for more. Take care.